do is really talk about, I'm going to just mention five things that you might not know, just to bring to your attention. Things that are really important, actually. Uh, and hopefully, as you go away and you've been to the conference, um, if you can remember these five things, and if you can do something about those five things, that'd be excellent, that'd be very really good. So let's just go through a, a few of those things, first of all. Right, first thing is about prayer. And the, the statement there is prayer supports everything we do and it runs through everything we do. Um, I've worked with Echoes International now since uh, May 2016. And my first meeting in Echoes International was a prayer meeting, which was lovely compared to what I previously did. Um, and the whole tenant and culture of Echoes International is prayer. And it's vital for the whole of the work. And we're asking folk to pray with us. And three things, really, just to bring to your attention. First of all, um, you'll all have a card. Now, you're probably sitting on it just now, so hopefully you've not flattened it or wasted it or whatever. But there's a card on your seat. Now, a lot of you already receive the prayer letter that's sent out every Monday afternoon. And let me just take the opportunity to, to, to say thank you for praying for the work of Eggers International. It's vital. But there's lots of folk, some are here for the first time, actually. It's really good to see you. Um, but it would be great if you could join with us in prayer every week. So every week, the office collates all the things that are happening across the world, and the mission workers are telling us, or incidents that are taking place, and we put that in a prayer list. And we send it out in an email every Monday afternoon. And people are praying for the work of mission across the world as a result of that. But it would be great, wouldn't it be fantastic, if you think of every church represented here, wouldn't it be great if every church, every week, were going through that prayer list and just bringing these things into the presence of God? That's an opportunity. So I'm asking you, if you don't already receive the prayer list, the prayer letter, every Monday, just fill out the wee card, and you don't even have to post it. There's a desk, there's an Echoes International desk, up where the exhibition is, just give us the card, and we'll make sure that we actually send the prayer letter to you as well. It's very current, it relates to what's actually happening that particular week, or just in, just in the few weeks ahead, and it allows you to pray for these things. A great example of that, for instance, was the change of the law, the potential change of the law in Bolivia, um, just a few months ago. And we sent out the email to lots of churches and we joined with the Bolivian churches to pray. And God changed the government in terms of their decision. And they revoked the law and it's no longer in place. That just shows you the power of prayer. Very simple application. But we can all pray. So please sign up for the prayer letter as well. Every Thursday uh, in both offices, Glasgow and Bath, we meet together at 10.30 and we pray. So two invites. One, if you're about the office, I don't suppose you'll be about the office in Bath, um, but if you are, come and see us. But if you're about the office, come in at half past ten and join with us to pray. Um, I'll give you a real invite to that as well. But actually, you can pray anywhere. So half past ten, Thursday, just down your pen or your keyboard or whatever you do, shut your eyes and just pray and join us as we pray for the work around the world as well. And the other thing about prayer, again, vital. This could revolutionise your prayer life, actually. Um, we have decided to give away the, the daily prayer guide, the annual daily prayer guide, uh, free for this year. And there are about 5,000 odd folk who either receive it through email or they receive it through um, the physical magazine. And it allows you to pray for the work more intelligently as well. So again, if you can sign up for that, just click into the website, uh, follow the process, and we'll make sure that you get the magazine to go forward as well. So prayer is a huge thing uh, about Echoes International, and we'd ask you to join with us uh, as we do that as well. The second thing is serve with us. Um, already the call has been made by uh, both Huber and Giovanni about getting involved and going to either Italy or, or Germany or Greece um, if you actually go into the website just now, uh, there is about, I counted it up last night, there's about 70 odd, no, not odd, 70 plus opportunities 
where you can go and serve across the world at this present moment. One of the best interviews I did last year was someone who basically was at the conference last year and she heard the call of God in her life and she's now serving in a school in Zambia today. Well, probably not today. She's probably got a day off today, but Monday to Friday. Um, So there's a real opportunity to look through, I guess, some of the opportunities that are there and they are varied from preaching to admin to accountancy to IT. There's all sorts of stuff there. Uh, And again, I would ask you just to take the time to go through these and start to understand what opportunities are are actually there. Now, you hear more about the Glow Summer teams uh, this evening with Seb. But again, just a plea for that as well. Both in terms of first serve, so the opportunity, if you're you're a university student and you're thinking of taking a year out, or if you're in school about to go to university and you've got a gap year, there's an opportunity to serve in first serve. Go along to Bible College for a number of weeks, be involved in a church placement somewhere in the UK, and then ultimately to serve overseas for a few months as well, giving you a real good experience of serving for God wherever you are. So that program's there. Please make sure you're aware of that. And again, these details are on the website. And of course, there's the Glow Summer Teams uh, over, I say summer teams, they actually go from now all the way through to probably uh, autumn. Um, But there's another real opportunity to serve God Uh, And all of these different sets of circumstances. And again, we'd ask you just to get involved in those things as well. So not only can you pray with us, but you can serve with us uh, as well. The third opportunity is um, to teach with us. One of the things that we have um, recognized as we think of the, the need of mission across the world, one of the real needs that is there across every, just about every country is the need for good Bible teachers. For people to be able to just, now it doesn't have to be that you're there for three or four years. You might not be able to commit to that. But the ability to say that I'm giving some time aside and for you just to be able to say, wherever you want me to go, I'll go. And there are countries all over the world that are in need of good Bible teaching. And if you're interested and capable and willing, we'd be interested to speak to you. So please let us know if you've got some time or actually if you're prepared to put some time aside Uh, And we can use that from that perspective uh, as well. The next thing is um, you can follow us in mission. Um, Up until uh, last year, our main means of communication was either conferences like this or uh, the magazine. I'm going to plug the magazine first of all. Um, uh, And I I guess you probably expect me to say something like this because I'm involved in Echoes International. From a missional perspective... And in terms of detailing the needs of mission in 2018 across the world, I think you'll struggle to see a better magazine and read a better magazine. And there is a danger sometimes that it's a thing that sits on a desk or it sits on a church table and actually it's not being used. It allows you to fully understand what the needs of mission are across the world at the present moment. So... um, Thank you, first of all, for those folk who are reading the magazine, but we would ask you to sign up again. I'm going to do another plea for the magazine. Sign up for it. Tell the guys at the back, and they'll make sure going forward you get the magazine going forward. So there was a magazine and conference, but what we've done basically is try to bring other channels in that are making a huge difference to us as well. So we've revamped the website, and again, you can follow us at www.echoesinternational.org.uk. I think... I'm probably going to get around from Leslie when I say this. I think we're about to launch a YouTube channel on Monday with our lecture from uh, Professor John Lennox on Friday and last night. We'll launch that on the Monday morning, hopefully. Um, so you'll be able to see, if you weren't there, and shame on you if you weren't, but if you weren't there, um, you'll be able to see that uh, on Monday going forward as well. But you can follow us on uh, our uh, website as well. But three other things, I guess, just to bear in mind. First of all, our Facebook, our social media pages are actually all live as well. Uh, and the ability for, for you to understand just what's going on, whether it's a prayer issue or a testimony or some of the things we have done. For instance, Rupert and myself have just spent a time in Pakistan over the last 10 days or so. Um, uh, if you haven't read some of the stories, it's really interesting. Um, very challenging, very challenging country. But it lets you see some of the issues that Christians are dealing with that we have never dealt with, actually. Um, So, again, the ability to follow both 
uh, Echoes International, whether it's through Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, are there for you as well. If you're sitting there thinking, what are these? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just read the magazine. <laughs> but if you don't read the magazine, or if actually you're quite into tablet and smartphones and stuff, sign up for this stuff. There is so much rubbish in social media. The ability to give the details on your phone or your computer or your tablet that's positive and something you should be reading, I would advocate. So please sign up for that. Irrespective of your age, and there's a lot of silver surfers, so that's not an age thing. It's an opportunity if you're into it, and that's fine if you are. And if not, uh, just continue to enjoy the magazine. Right, last thing. I said five things. Really, it's only four things, and five is a summary. Five minutes of your time. That's all we're asking for. Every day. Just five minutes. Just to be encouraged by what God is doing across the world. It was fantastic to hear Hubert in terms of what God's doing in Germany. I said we spent some time in Pakistan. I, I, we went to a church in Multan, which was effectively the first church established by Robbie Orr from Edinburgh in the 50s. Now, I've never heard that story. But in that church, there are now, in that city of Multan, eight churches, all established through the work of what God did through Robbie Orr in that first assembly. And there are stories like that across the world. And as I put this verse in the slide, I'm going to get emotional now, as I thought of a future day when we stand with our Savior and everything has been done and there's just singing like there's never been singing before. It's fantastic to realize that God is continuing to build his church. In just five minutes, five minutes a day, is that much of your time in relation to all the other stuff we get involved in? So five things at Echoes International, and I hope that you have picked up something you may not have known, and if you have, follow us, or serve with us, or teach with us, but certainly spend some time with us. And that's our ask. Thank you.